I'm Kevin Koreski with FinishLineMultisport.com, and to my left is Lisa Norton, professional triathlete. Lisa, you're here in L.A. again this year, and you won it. And not that you just win it, you crushed it. Why don't you give us a little insight on how your day went out here this year? Um, it was a good day out there. I kind of like, some people say IT athletes can't ride a bike. It is kind of nice to show them actually pretty strong on the bike. Um, I came out with two and a half minutes into T2. And I figured I might just keep running and see, see how much time I could fit into the girls. Now, last year you won this race. And the swim was a little different last year compared to this year. I don't think it was as treacherous. No, the, um, the surf was much smaller. Was still a few waves coming back into the shore. Uh, but last year was massive surf and a few people struggled to get out through the break. Uh, I had quite a good swim this year. I've been working a lot on my swimming as well, which kind of helped me today. Now, during this season, I got a chance to watch you on the internet because you you Facebook a lot. You spent some time in Africa. Can you tell us a little bit what you were doing out there and about the whole experience? Um, Africa was in November last year, so before the major winter training started, and we did a, a running block down in Kenya, which was quite interesting. Um, why, why, why in Kenya? Because I reckon that's that's the only place where you have a whole town full of high-end runners. Everyone. Everyone you see at running are running technically good. They all they all know how to run. They know how to uh, to get you know how to do it. So we as triathletes, we need to improve our running. What do we do? Go to Kenya and watch good runners. Uh, a lot of advice. A lot of yes, like a learning, big learning experience. And also then to get started for the season and, and start off in a good good way. That, that's that's very interesting. Actually, you think about it, go to where the best people are and learn from the best, right? Yeah, and, and the coach coach talks a lot about running form and you know active arms, the forward lean, and you're like yeah, blah blah. blah. But, you know, it's the coach talking. Uh, but to go there and actually see, okay, this is what we need to do to improve our running. Everyone runs with the forward lean. Everyone runs on the forefoot. Everyone got nice active arms tucked into the body. So you're like kind of like okay, no, really, Lisa, I need to to get it together. Now for the two thousand. 2010 season, you had an actually you had a really good a good year again this year. What would you say was your highlight for the 2010 season up to this point? It's going to be the I have two highlights. It's the Hamburg World Series win, which was a sprint finish with Emma Moffat, and that's the first time I've ever beaten Emma Moffat. And also to win in Hamburg, I reckon that's one of the most fantastic races out on the circuit. It's stacked with people, it's a fantastic course and the atmosphere is, is amazing. So win there was one of the highlights and then the, the Sprint World Championships gold in Lausanne was also top notch. Now were your, was your family able to come see you at both of these or just uh, Sweden? Um, in Hamburg I had uh, my dad and, and some friends of my dad which was fantastic and also I, I got a few groupies now coming around to watch the races. In Lausanne was only me and the Swedish team and, and some friends uh, unfortunately but they got to watch the whole race back on TV which also was pretty fantastic so now that you're done with LA you're heading down to Dallas to defend that title what um, what do you, how do you hope that day comes about for you I hope about the same as uh, today <laughs> that would be fantastic um, I'm gonna work pretty hard on the bike in Dallas as well hoping to have a bit of a distance uh, Dallas is going to be tougher, more girls, and a few pretty strong girls are going to show up. I know Daniela Riff is going to be there, maybe Nicola Spurig, Sarah Groff. Uh, so I think it's going to be a bit more competition. Uh, but I, I've done Dallas two years in a row and I never lost in Dallas either. I never lost any of the lifetime races, so I'm going to try to keep my winning streak up. Now is Dallas going to be it for you for 2010? Yeah, that's my last race and then I go home and have holidays. And what are you going to do for your off season? How are you going to spend it? Um, I was actually planning to do something special to go away and you know sunbathe and drink umbrella drinks and stuff. Uh, the problem is everyone back home is working, so I'm not sure if we can get in one with me. Hopefully, I'm able to to get out of a, a rainy October in Sweden. Worst case scenario, I'm going to spend time with my family, which isn't a bad option either. Now, next year really is going to be all about gaining points and getting where you need to be for the uh, Olympics in, two, in 2012. Yeah, I think points-wise I should be okay to qualify. Uh, so 2011 is more to get the puzzle together. Uh, I need to up my running, I need to up my swimming, and then hopefully by the end of 2011 I'm going to have pieced everything together and, you know, 
then start to prepare properly for uh, for 2012. Now, as of right now, would you be the only female representing Sweden, or is there is the triathlon community starting to get bigger because of you actually winning the races and stuff like that? It's it's really starting to develop. We did have a team in the team event in the World Champs in Lisbon, uh, a very young team, mainly juniors. So it's going to take a while for them to kind of grow up and and be established on the world World Series level. Uh, so not for this Olympics, but I reckon the next one they're going to be a bit more fight for for the slots. Well, this is Lisa Norton. I'm Kevin Koreski. Watch out 2012 London. This young lady, she's a contender. Go for it. Thank you.